Have you heard about this trending topic in the world of Salesforce ecosystem? Today we are going to deep dive into that. Hello and welcome back to Long Switch Academy and this is your host Shubham Prajapati. Today we are going to take a look at the implementation of Agent Force in Salesforce. Recently for a project I got an opportunity to demo this feature to one of our clients and therefore I uh, got the opportunity to like uh, implement the Agent Force for the scope of a project to define what it can do and whether it serves the pur uh, purpose of the project or not. So here I'm presenting you the step by step tutorial on how I have implemented implemented the agent force in my org and how you can do the same in your uh, specific Salesforce developer org. This video is going to be very informative. So I request you to till uh, to stay till the very end. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do subscribe to Long Switch Academy and ring that notification bell. So let's begin. So so first you need a developer org which has this agent force enabled currently it is not freely available but you can request a trial demo for two days or three days that salesforce offers so once you have a, have the like agent force enabled org you need to go to setup and from the quick find you need to search for einstein uh, wait a minute you need to search for einstein and from there you need to go to einstein setup since i have already set set this up i already have this option uh, as toggled on so when you are when you set up your uh, agent force agent in, for the first time you need to enable this option by coming to this einstein setup once that is done you need to look for agents as you know this agent force service is all about creating AI agents that can uh, serve your customers uh, depending on their queries or inquiries. So next you need to go to the agents and when you create the agent uh, for the first time you need to select this option new agent and this will launch the wizard to add the information about your agent that is called the agent builder since we are in the trial phase we just see this option but if you are on the paid plan you will get a couple of more options to select from for creating your agent i'll choose this i'll hit next then for every agent to serve efficiently to your clients you need to associate some topics to whom he or she can uh, to whom it can reply uh, to your customers queries like whether you want your agent to be compliant with case management account management reservation management delivery issues order inquiries escalation or general faq by default these all are options added but you keep the one that are required for your use case so i just want to remove this and once you do that hit next and define more setting for your agent such as name description role the company information and most importantly you need to choose an user once you need to choose a user which has that uh, agent force user license associated with that with that and once you are done with that you need to hit next for example i choose this user i keep the same settings i just rename it to v2 and i'll put some sample information i won't create a new board i have already created for my uh, my organization or for my purpose uh, but i i'm just uh, filling in this information for the demo purpose so you should be mindful in putting this information because this represents your boat and it has to be very accurate once you are done with that hit next and then since we are in a trial org i, I do not have any option or i do not have the uh, uh, data cloud enabled in my org so therefore i'm not getting that option but in case you have uh, the data cloud license in your org then you can also connect, connect your boat from the data cloud and once you are done just hit create this step will create your agent but as i said i have already created agent for myself uh, that is listed here this is long switch service agent i'll just simply open it and once the basic agent is created by following the agent uh, builder prompt or agent builder uh, what i say wizard you get to see about something like this 
and then you can add topics to your board actions to your board system uh, messages and some more uh, settings that you can choose uh, you can select for your for your agent in case since i have already created a board for myself but in case you want to edit some settings for your board you have to open the builder so click on this open in builder and this since my board is already activated i no longer get a chance to modify its settings but if i wish to add new topic to my board or maybe adjust some settings i have to deactivate it and once i deactivate it i get an option that i can add new topic or new uh, new items from the asset library so here if i have configured the asset library for my org correctly i'll get the options and according to my use case i'll choose them and basically you generally need to create a topic i have already created a topic for myself that is this experience management and these are the topics uh, these are the details about the topic which it the topic in general tells about the capabilities of your board and the queries to whom or the queries or the questions to whom uh, your board can reply so that it looks like to the uh, kind looks like a kind of interactive uh, session for your end users so configure as many as many topics as you want for your uh, for your board in order to make it more interactive uh, with the with the users or they can serve better to your uh, end users similarly for each of the topic you can add the actions and then then again action by either you can add it by clicking add action or maybe from the asset library there are there are a lot of pre built uh, what i say pre built actions that uh, that salesforce provides you can use make use of them or if you wish to create a brand new action then you can create something for yourself by following this create action agent uh, create action uh, dialog again the this agent force technology is quite new and it is sort of uh, dependent or maybe you can say the advanced version of this einstein board so if you have worked with einstein board in uh, in uh, previously then you will get or you will find some resemblance between the two and it becomes kind of easy for you to configure and uh, like uh, agent force agent uh, or ai agent for you uh, for, for you or for your organization so here if you wish you can create a new action for yourself like that you can configure topics topic actions for your board and apart from that once you are done with the changes you have to activate your board so this is all about configuring uh, what i say configuring the agent adding topics to agent then adding topic related actions in case you have any questions regarding these topics and, and want to know uh, more details about it then do let us know in the comment section below we will definitely bring up uh, we will be come we will come back with a detailed guide or video on that particular topic to help you understand this topic in much more clearer way so i hope you are enjoying this video and if you have any questions feel free to use the comment section now since my agent is configured we can test it using this conversation preview this is a great feature that it uh, that salesforce allows you to quickly preview your agent changes so that you can make sure that all your changes are aligned with your requirements for example i can give it a command like hello and now it starts analyzing my request and it says some of the greetings to the users to the user such as hi i am i am an ai service assistant for long switch team how can i help you and like that i have in, uh, like the user can initiate the uh, conversation with the bot similarly he will it will continue to ask more questions to get details about the customer and uh, customer and what like their inquiry for example i want to create a case See, I just prompted it to create that I wanted to create a case. Then it came back with a query that if we, if I can provide more details about the case, then he it can automatically create a case for me and submit it for the respective support queue. So this is the power of this agent force or AI agents in general, 
that Salesforce is offering. It is worth checking this out for enhancing your customer support experience or in general Salesforce user experience by giving them AI based suggestions or which, which, which will eventually lead them to make efficient business decisions. So this is all about uh, all about uh, the basic setup of agent builder. One more thing uh, before I move on to the next topic, one more thing I, that, I, that I wanted to highlight. If you wish to modify these messages like the, the welcome message that your AI agent sends to your uh, like visitors or the your customers then there is a way you need to go back it asks whether you want to leave yes I want to leave because I have tested my changes and it seems to be working uh, I'll open my boat and see these are the from here you can modify it but since my boat is active I can't do so I will have to go to the builder again and I think this is where it was I need to deactivate and I will need to go back to the builder sorry I will need to go back to the agents screen I need to open this again and now it gives me chance to edit this message so here I can type anything so you cannot modify an active AI agent you have to deactivate it and then come back make your changes and save them and reactivate your boat so this also prevents accidental changes to the boat so this was the one thing that I wanted to highlight once I'm done with the uh, what I say uh, configurations of uh, configuration of my agent I just need to one check uh, one more thing I need to go to the users as I mentioned that the user that can act as your AI agent uh, needs to have the agent force license assigned to that so I'll go to the user if you recall I use this user Einstein service agent user so this user must have this Einstein sorry this Einstein Einstein agent user license that this user must have otherwise uh, it won't work secondly along with this license that user must have this agent force uh, service agent user permission set and service agent permissions permission set assigned to this then only any user can act as the AI agent so this is the precondition so you have to in case you want to use a different user uh, as your AI agent then you have to assign respective license and permission set so I hope this requirement is also clear to you once you are okay with your agent and you are happy with setting up its topics its uh, what I say actions permissions welcome messages and all it's time to implement them for that you can simply use these uh, like agents in uh, what I say in your experience sites so I'll go to the site I have created one site for my demo I'll showcase that to you that is this Coral Cloud and I'll go to the builder it is simple experience site that we are we are using from the very early days of Salesforce and I'm just going into its builder and from the components It's loading, it is taking a couple of seconds to load. And from the support, you need to use this embed messaging, drag and drop your, on your uh, experience site. And uh, since I have already used my boat here, I'll just demo you how you how you can drag and drop it. I will just drag and drop it here. Okay see as long as I drop this embedded messaging uh, component it asks it give me this options which web deployment to use for the board you need to use your specific uh, like AI agent setup and then you have to use specific uh, what I say configuration from this enhanced service URL site endpoint and all that's what you need to use once you are done with your changes you need to save and preview since I have already added my boat as you can see here 
at the bottom I'll just preview it so let me see if it works I previewed it and here I get this option I mean to say if even if my or what I say with any of the visitor comes to my screen uh, let's say I'll go back to the builder I'll close this out because here it is not working I guess so I will have to click this sorry this is my site pardon me for that it is loading hmm, why it is asking me for this login okay now my site has been loaded and you can see a bot here it is just an embedding messaging component that I have configured now I can interact with my chat and I'll say hello let's see what response we get from here uh, let me see if my boat is active or not I need to see so it is not active see once when your boat is or agent is uh, inactive it won't uh, reply to the queries so I have to activate it go back to my site again refresh it again see you should be mindful of these things uh, I'll close this tab and I'll open it again in Android tab. sometimes it takes time to load so the boat is initiating I need help I think it is not taking this into account let me go to incognito and try to sometime the caching can be uh, can be in play so let's see if it works here okay now see it loaded so sometimes uh, the things take time to uh, take that uh, uh, things take time to load so you should be patient enough and try in some other windows just to see here uh, I want to create a case create a case and when I send this query it asks for some other details I want people who have watched my video I'm, I want people to subscribe and share my video who have watched it create a case for marketing team see this is the very first time I am testing this command so I am also equally excited to see what results this will bring see now it based on the prompt uh, that I sent to it it is continuing uh, continuously asking me more questions to verify that whether I aligned with their one of the customer base or not the, the moment I said that I want to create a case for marketing team it asked me for providing the details such as email address or membership number that I don't have because I'm not the member of this site so this is the power of AI it evaluates each request and respond accordingly to maintain the accuracy of the information that he it is presenting to the uh, uh, to the users so this was it about the basic implementation of agent force in salesforce and i hope you found this tutorial useful and you no longer wait uh, you, you no, no longer can wait to have this thing uh, implemented in your respective orgs and take uh, take advantage of this advancement of ai in the world of salesforce ecosystem do let us know in the comment section below what you feel about this video and if you have any questions or queries for us do let us know in the comment section below until next time Keep learning and keep growing with Long Switch Academy. Thank you for watching.